I am thrilled and honored to be in the presence of stardom here. 20 Feet from Stardom is a new documentary getting rave reviews. It's a celebration, really, of unsung heroes who sing their hearts out just 20 feet away from some of the biggest names in the music business. And in a moment, we're going to talk to the two women that I am in love with. It's Darlene Love and Mary Clayton, who are right here this morning. They've been backup singing acts for the Rolling Stones to Elvis, just about everybody. First, take a look at the film that now brings them to center stage. They helped shape legendary songs into timeless classics. Their names may not be familiar, but you know their voices. Singing background remains a, I suppose, a somewhat unheralded position. <laughs> and now a new documentary moves them into a spotlight of their own, finally moving background singers right to center stage. There's a power to these women that stand on stage with these guys. Telling the untold stories of the voices who helped build legends like Bruce Springsteen, Mick Jagger, Stevie Wonder, and Joe Cocker. Until we die. And he says, there she bloody is. He said, I want you to work on all of my records. Sometimes the journey cost them their own hopes and dreams. I started cleaning houses. Ooh. I can't do that. But, but you're fine to do it. I got to save my life. But the difficult journey also had its own rewards. Working with Michael really did inspire me. And, and saying like, wow, it's okay to dream this big. Go see this, go see this, go see this, Darby. <laughs> love Mary Clayton. We are in love with you so much that Amy had to come over yeah, just to right. say hi as well. Uh, and I just have to ask, when you, and I'd love to ask both of you, when you saw it, what did you think when you first saw the movie? I loved it, and I thought, I was actually got sentimental about it, because mm -hmm. talking about it and then seeing it on film, it took on a thing. whole nother yeah. meaning. Yeah. And... Yeah. I loved it. I mean, I thought it was just incredible. See, everyone saw it before me. I didn't see it until Sundance. And I literally was just catapulted out of my seat. They had to Aww. hold me down. <laughs> Darling, we were together in Cleveland at, at the yes. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame where you were inducted. And it was such a special moment because backup singers oftentimes are the unsung heroes right. of the stars. Absolutely. What are some of the misconceptions that people have? Well, number one, they think it's easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's actually harder than singing lead. Mm -hmm. Most background singers can't sing lead, and most lead singers can't cannot sing, sing background. Because right, right. you have to learn how to blend. Mm -hmm. You can't have no egos because mm -hmm. you're backing somebody. So, you know, it's always great. Plus, most people can't blend. You know, if you're a lead singer, you know, honey, not so loud. <laughs> singing <laughs> with, why it's singing so with four of them being so recognized yes. in this way. And and so, Mary, I mean, it's a star system in music that that really is kind of unfair because it doesn't rate people by their abilities; mm -hmm. it just rates people by star power. But that may be life. Do you see that this movie it may change the music business in the future, or do you think it'll just be the We're same? really hoping so. Hoping so. We yeah. are really hoping. You're never so. sure about this business. Never sure because <laughs> we worked so long, darling. Uh, mentored me as a 14 year old mm. and she started me singing background at Capitol Records when I was 14 that's how I got started you know was singing background at Capitol at 14 getting out of my six period classes Aww. going to sing background at Capitol <laughs> Records. Did you always dream of being the lead? I, was, I did not I was, at first because <laughs> I loved singing. It yes. was just we had such power yes. as background singers. And you singers. were a part of something. Yeah yes. and because the stars would come in and ask us what do you hear? Yeah, what do you, right. What do you, what do you hear? Oh, here? We hear out here. So we was wonderful. Mm -hmm. Whenever they had asked us, what do you think? What do you think you should do here? Oh, it honey, a, we had it for them. We had it for them, <laughs> you know, whatever. And they said, well, it would always ask, well, what do you think about this? I said, well, you know, let us try this. Right. And see if you like this. And they would just fall we out. We were steering the ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you right. see that in Absolutely. the movie. You see that these people really trusted you mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. with their sound. Mm -hmm. yes. And that you made them superstars mm -hmm. just by going in and being the amazing talent with loads of personality and fun yes. that you naturally No have. agenda. Mm -mm. Just going in there to just do our singing. job. Ladies, Real you talent. are superstars. <laughs> and I'm telling you, 20 Feet from Stardom opens in New York and L.A. It is the most worthwhile moment that I spent watching this oh, film of the entire so week much. and yes. so uh, it goes nationwide in the weeks to follow it is it's yes. great we love having you.